So here's some quick reminders um, on how to deal with certs. We'll start off by writing root 45 in the form a times root x. Now, root 45 is exactly the same as root 9 times root 5. Now we know that 9 fives are 45, um, so we can break that down to 9 times 5 and then separate. And again, this is just a reminder, um, not really teaching it to you for the first time in this video. Then you should realise that uh, root 9, you deliberately factored this into a square number factor times another number. That's what we look for. We look into 45 to see if there's a square root factor, which there is. And so we obviously take the square root of that, and the positive square root, and our answer is 3 root 5. So A is 3 and x is 5. a is 3 and x is 5. Now, if we want to rationalise a denominator, then th that means that the bottom number must not contain a third. So the way round this is to multiply both the top and the bottom by the numerator. What this will um, have the effect of doing to the numerator, we'll have root 5 times root 5 Again, uh, a memory job, it's important to remember that root of, say, x times root x would be x, so root 5 times root 5 is 5. On the top, we have 3 times root 5, which we simply write as 3 root 5. And we have now rationalised the denominator because the denominator is a rational number. On to um, expanding, and if we expand, this is very much like expanding. Um, linear brackets except we have the square root, we have the third involved. So we have 5 threes, 15. We have 5 times minus root x. Well, right, that's minus 5 root x. We have root x times 3, which is plus 3 root x. And then we have plus root x times minus root x. So the plus times a minus gives us a minus. The root x times root x gives us x. So now we can still simplify this um, a bit further. We have got minus 5 root x plus 3 root x. So these are like terms. So you've got minus 5 plus 3, which will give us minus 2 root x. So we end up then with 15 minus 2 root x minus x. It doesn't have to be written in that particular order, but those are the three terms that you should get. So on to rationalising um, this particular Third, same technique as before, except to rationalise a 3 minus x, we have to multiply by what's called the conjugate 3 plus root x. So it's almost identical, except you swap the sign of the third. And what this will <laughs> have the impact of doing is eliminating the thirds in the denominator, which is exactly what you want to happen. So um, if we now look at this, then we've got 5 times 3, 15. Let's make sure we do 5 times root x as well. 5 root x. So we've multiplied the top by 3 plus root x. Multiplying um, the bottom, we get 3 times 3 is 9. We will have a cancellation out between the root x times 3 and the 3 times minus root x. So there's no need to write that. But the whole point of setting this part up like that is that the middle terms cancel themselves out, so there's no thirds. But you've got minus root x times plus root x, which will give us 9 minus x. So we have now got 9 minus x. We've eliminated thirds from the denominator, so we've rationalised. Possibly want to take the 5 out as a common factor. But um, there's really nothing more we can do than that. So there's um, a few reminders then on how to handle certs at GCSE level.